Hi guys, welcome to iNetwork365. And in this video, I will show you how to seize FSM or role. Okay, before I show you how to uh, seize the FSM or role, let me explain you the reason to seize the FSM or role. By default, all these roles are stored in the root domain controller. Therefore, when the root domain controller is down, all the shared resources will not be accessible and the client computers will not be able to log into their system. Okay, here you can see a diagram. In this diagram, there is DC1 domain controller and there is DC2 domain controller. So in DC1 domain controller, this is the uh, root domain controller which contains all the FSM role installed in its system. So in case uh, now you can see there are client computers and printers. So all these computers, they can access the shared resources and uh, they can log into their system without any problem. But in case if this domain control goes off or if it is down, so in that case, all the client computers, they will not be able to access the resources because all the roles are stored in this domain controller. So what we are going to do, uh, what I'm going to show you, Using this additional domain controller, I'm going to seize all the FSMR roles. Also, please make sure that uh, in your organization, if you have a root domain controller, make sure that you have the additional domain controller also. So in case if it is down, so you can seize all the FSMR roles using the additional domain controller. But in case if you don't have additional domain controller, then you have no choice. You have to recreate from starting the domain uh, controller okay guys so now I'm going to show you uh, how to seize the FSM role so here you can see my main root domain controller which is called PDC SRV and my additional domain controller which I named as ADC SRV and the client computer Windows 10 so uh, before that let me show you the uh, the main primary domain controller Okay, here you can see my primary domain controller's name, PDCSRV, and the IP address is 192.168.80.200. And when I click tools and when I go to Active Directory, users and computers, when I go to Active Directory, users and computers, you can see here I create a user account called test and user. Okay, so now let's go to the additional domain controller. And this is my additional domain controller's name, DC, and the IP address is 192.168.80.201. So from here, I will show you uh, if I can communicate with my primary domain controller. So I'm going to type 192.168.80.200. And yes, I can communicate with my primary domain controller. So I'll go to Active Directory and check if my user account is there the one which I created in my primary domain controller. So here you can see test and user account is test user account and user is created. Okay. Okay. So now in order to seize the FSM role, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut down my primary domain controller. So we'll assume that my primary domain controller is down. Okay. So now I switched off my primary domain controller and I'm going to my additional domain controller. So earlier you can see uh, the ping was successful, but now let me try to ping again. And here you can see I cannot ping my primary domain controller. Okay, so that means there is no connection with primary domain controller. It is it is down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do? I'm going to seize the FSM role. So I'm going to make this computer as a root domain controller. So in order to do that, I'll open PowerShell. Okay. So from here, I will type this command.
So in identity, I, I mean in identity, I'm going to type my server name. That means my additional domain controller's name, which is DC. So again, I'm going to type operation master role. And I'm going to type schema master. So here I'm going to seize the schema master, domain naming master. Then after that, PDC emulator, read master, infrastructure master. And I'm going to force this one. Okay, there is some problem. Okay, sorry, there is a mistake. Actually, my uh, additional domain controller's name is DC2. So in here, I mentioned DC, uh, just DC, but the actual name is DC2. So here, I'm going to type DC2. Okay, enter. And now it is asking uh, for your permission. So here I'm going to click type A, yes for all. Enter. So this will take some time because it will search for the uh, primary domain controller. So if we, didn't, if we cannot reach the primary domain controller, then only it will start to seize the roles. Okay, so now the CC is completed. So in order to verify, I will type the command called netdom, net dom query custom. So using this command, you can uh, check who is holding this FSM roles. So you can see here uh, the schema master, domain naming master, and all the roles. Yeah, all the roles are now install in dc2 uh, domain controller okay so now i'll go to the active directory and here even i can create an account so i'll just create an account called user 3 user 3 Okay, so now the user 3 account is created. So now let's test it in the client computer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move to my Windows 10 computer. So here I'm going to type user 3 and the password which I already assigned in the server. So now you can see successfully I can log into my user 3 account. Okay, so now you can see I have successfully logged into the user 3 account. Okay, so you can see that if I click start and if I click on this icon, you can see that user 3 account I have logged in. So now let me try uh, to the previous account which I already created test. So now I'm going to log into the account called test. So let's see if I can log into this account. So this account actually I created in my root uh, the first primary domain controller so now let's check if i can log in and yes so here also i can log in successfully okay 
So now you can see I have logged into my test account, which I already created in my domain controller. Okay, guys. So that's all about this video. Video, and I hope that you guys understood. Uh, so please follow the same instruction uh, on how to seize the upper summer role. So in my uh, below my description, you can find uh, I will mention all the commands which I execute in this video. So that's all about this video. So please subscribe, share and like my video.